Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a different business to help share some tips and advice within their industry and today I'm real happy to have Ebony and Ebony, welcome to the show. Thank you, thanks for having me. Sure, why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do. Okay, um, my name's Ebony, again I'm Ebony Delgado with Chatham Dance Connection and I'm the owner and director there and we specialize in teaching dance in the areas of ballet, tap, jazz, contemporary, lyrical, hip hop, and clogging and acrobatics. Um, and we start with ages two years old all the way up through 18 or adult classes if, um, we, if we get enough participation in the adults. They are so busy raising their kids, it's hard to get adult classes going, but we certainly offer. Okay, great. Well, being in the video business myself, I've done my share of uh, dance recital videotaping wise. But um, I, like you said, you have kids all the way as young as two years old. Two years old. Uh, which class would you recommend for a beginning dance um, student? Okay. Um, for beginning dancers, um, especially at the young age of two, we have what's called more of an exploratory class. It's a creative movement class. Um, and it basically just helps kids develop their um, coordination, balance, um, and very basic dance skills um, such as learning how to point their toes and plie, um, doing things like gallops across, across the floor. Um, and for the four, ages four to six, um, we encourage them to do um, combination classes where they could learn how to do a couple of different styles of dance such as ballet and tap combinations or a jazz tap combination class that kind of gets them um, into a different couple of styles to figure out which one it suits their, their child best. Okay, very good. So depending on what city you go to, there are several dance companies that yes. a student could, I guess, join, um, yes. a studio they could join. Um, what, what could you recommend for a potential student to look for in a um, teacher or even a studio? Right. Um, when you're looking for a dance studio or a teacher for your child, because there are also um, private lessons that a child could take, um, what I would recommend doing is take a look at a couple of different studios, look at what they do and what they offer, and you know, use that as your guideline as to what kind of classes your child would be best suited for. Um, the teachers, even though some teachers may be qualified as far as credentials or having the skill set to teach, not all teachers are great teachers. Um, just because they know the dance steps and they know how to teach um, or know how to execute those steps doesn't make them a very good teacher. Um, but what I would look for as far as a studio is a studio that offers multiple types of dance um, on various different skill levels. And with the teachers themselves, a teacher that is loving, a teacher that is caring towards your child, a teacher that teaches them very good technique from the beginning, um, because it's hard to unteach a child who's been taught incorrect technique. Um, so proper training is what I would look for in a teacher. Again, patience is a very, very, <laughs> very important quality whenever it comes to teaching children. Um, and also promptness, making sure teachers are there on time. If you have a teacher that's always tardy for class or ends the class too soon, making sure they get the full extent of their class time there. I think a well-qualified and caring teacher is, is the best kind of teacher out there. And as far as studios go again, as far as uh, the kinds of classes that they offer, that's what you should look for. If your child wants to be a classical ballerina, you need to look for a studio that offers mostly classical ballet classes. Um, if they're looking for just a recreational studio where they go in for maybe 30 to 45 minutes a week, um, then you need to research and make sure that that's the kind of studio that it is and not a classically, um, a, a studio that's preparing for a classical ballerina. Okay. All right. So what are a few tips you can give to any potential dancers out there to become a well-rounded dancer. Okay, to become a well-rounded dancer, um, one of the first things you need to do is get good technique. That's the foundation for everything. Um, and ballet training is also a very good way to, to be proficient in other um, types of dance because the foundations you get in ballet, um, the technique going across the floor, the technique standing at the ballet bar with your posture, with the way that you point your toes, um, the, the control of your body, the core strength, that's one of the major keys to any style of dance. Um, and flexibility is also a great way to be a well-rounded dancer because that translates to any style of dance. Um, and as far as being a flexible dancer, that in involves doing things outside of the class. So if you are doing flexibility training and stretching during your class time and right after class, which you should do during a cool down, you should also translate that at home. Um, maybe stretching for 10 minutes a day whenever you get up in the morning and whenever you, before you go to bed at night after you've taken your shower or bath. It's a good way to keep your muscles strong and, and flexible. Okay. So would you say that uh, is, can someone who has, say, two left feet, 
Can they be taught to dance, or is it something that you just kind of have to have naturally? I think that natural ability always is, is, is a great thing, and it's, it makes a dance teacher very happy to have a student that comes in that has a lot of natural talent. But anyone can learn to dance. Um, it may be on a different level than a person who has that natural ability, but I think anyone can learn to dance. Okay, great. Well, thank you for the information. It's very good. I appreciate it, and thank hopefully you. you all learned a little bit of inf information out there. And if you want uh, more information about uh, um, Ebony and her dance studio, check out the website at the end of this video. And if you'd like to continue this conversation online, please fill out the box below this video, and we'd love to continue it with you. That's all we have for this week. Take care. See you next time.